Hey Kangs, I'm Lindsay Bailey. And I'm Matt Malloy. Welcome to this week's Kang News Broadcast. The last Poetry Slam is today. Doors open at 6 p.m. and it is $5 at the door to help fund King of Palooza and $5 for the poetry books that will be on sale at the show. Be sure to make it. If you're a junior who loves community service, then Loyalty Club is for you. Stop by after school in Mr. Tuggle's room, room 269, to learn more about it and what to do and why you should join. If you can't make it, stop by Tuggle's office to pick up an application. Sounds great, Lindsay. Now, your books are here. They will be distributed to you on June 1st after school in the Commons. That's tomorrow. Students cannot pick up their yearbooks if they have any fines, so make sure that you don't have any. Also, if you did not purchase the yearbook, a limited amount will be sold on Friday the 3rd after school for $75 at the bookkeeper. <laughs> make sure to sign my yearbook. Remember, if you have fines, you can't get one. Shout out to LW Drama for receiving one nomination and four honorable mention nods in the Fifth Avenue Theater Awards, which is basically like a Tony's for high school. The judges have, uh, the judges for this category have over 100 schools, so congratulations to Asher. Asher DeForest has been nominated <laughs> as best actor in the leading role for his portrayal of Seymour in The Little Shop of Horrors. He'll be singing in front of 3,000 people at McCaw Hall on June 6th. The also, judges for this category have seen over 100 schools, so congratulations to Asher. Congrats to Annika Cable, Clint Bull, Dylan Sabine, and Nick Mihawks, who all received honorable mentions for their roles in LDUB's production of Little Shop. Again, congratulations to everyone who is a part of Little Shop of Horrors. It was an amazing production. It was. I know I loved it. Now over to sports. <laughs> Whoa, hey Kangs, my name is Julian Thompson, and welcome to another fantastic edition of Kang Q, where this week's question is, what's your favorite moment at L-Dub? What was your favorite moment at L-Dub, seniors? The end of the school day. That's great. Okay. Being at L-Dub. Go Kangs. Uh, probably being in the musicals. That's my favorite moment. Nice. Kang commentary. I don't know. When I when I got to play football, probably. That's not a funny answer. It's not. A funny I want a funny answer. It's not funny. That's funny. King comedy. <laughs> no one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Scout Callens, what was your favorite moment at L Dub? Just yell. Or just. I also liked Kang commentary. <laughs> Roost Sports of the Year, right? It is. It is. You know, sad. I, I know. I'm, I'm Ben Steele. I'm BJ Mann. I'm Scout Callens. I'm Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't figured our names out by now. Uh, a lot of sports going on this the week. The other day, I was talking to someone, and they said they didn't know who I was. I said, I'm on Kang News every week. How do you not know my name? A great, that's a great question, and we, we identify ourselves every week. Exactly. They're probably Just watching now. It's pretty embarrassing. Hopefully. Hi. All right, so uh, in case you didn't hear, the baseball team won state. Woo! My Dude, friend James Wait, wait, you look like you might be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We don't touch him. We do not <laughs> touch James. Uh, usually we do touch him, but just not when he's sick. Nope. Yeah. Um, my good friend Scout Callens finished uh, 12th in the 200 at the state track meet. Hey, good job. Not dude. bad. Not uh, bad. Another good friend of mine, Thera Davis, finished 12th in the 400. Mm -hmm. She's only a freshman, too, so. Who cares? Uh, a third good friend of mine, Brittany Blaskovich, tied her own school record in the pole vault yep. and placed 10th overall. Is yeah, third good, good friend kind of work like the cousin deal? So she's yeah. like the good friend I'm not sure, friend. man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, should, dude, stop. Another good friend of mine, uh, George Ogle Mai Black, threw a personal best in the shot put and placed 6th. That's Sixth. pretty good. Uh, Shit! Another very good friend of mine, Natalie Beto, Natalie. Uh, incre increased her school record. She, she already she held the school she record. Doesn't. She increased it. I'm pretty sure she does. She yeah. Does. yeah, she does. Oh, she, uh, does. she, she plays, plays third, she plays third state, in state. Yeah, I'm going to trust the KG and, uh, source. Uh, a boys 4x1 relay yeah, uh, so also got third. Yes. Woo! They did. Woo! That's the Ryan. Woo! Clifford Woo! and Woo! Chet and Tuanya. Yeah, they're also on it. They're also, yes. Yeah. Uh, great, great job, Kings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's... Good work. You guys got any more fluff to add? Baseball won state. Woo! My friend Jake, uh, he was playing pretty well. He, uh, there was one point where uh, the bases were loaded. Unassisted double play. And my, yeah, my friend Jake had a uh, the unassisted. Game, he the picked off, right? It was a line drive, right? He picked it off, threw it to first. No, 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 no. Second. He, he 
He you caught it so himself. Cut the fluff. Let's go. He, he caught it himself uh, and then went and tagged right. second. And uh, the guy didn't. The guy was. Oh right, he didn't have to throw it anyway. Didn't even throw it to anyone. Is anyone about to shed a tear because this is our last little broadcast? I am not. I'm not. I'm Scout Callens. I always have and I always will be. I only cry at night. That's Chris. Chris, give this one as your famous sign offs. I don't know. Uh, remember, Kangs, uh, if you have two left feet, then you probably can't dance very well. <laughs>Uh, my favorite part of Kang News was uh, showing up every day to tutorial and uh, talking to Chris, talking to DJ, talking to all my friends, and then coming up with uh, funny things to say on Kang News, because most of it was not on the spot. Definitely my favorite part about Kang News was just like hanging out with my buds, uh, and we just get to do like funny stuff on the air. I really enjoyed talking about my friend Jake Steele's home run. My favorite part about Kang News was coming here, being live in front of the whole school, Reading off an announcement. Like, my only job on King News pretty much as a sports anchor was to make sure that DJ and Chris stayed halfway on topic. So if you noticed, when you received the sports news, it was most likely because of me and not because of Chris and DJ. Um, so let you in a little secret. I am only on the show as the guy who wraps it all together for the two clowns who sit with me. I kind of enjoyed like the lack of organization sometimes because it just made everyone like think on their feet and um, it was funny just kind of not really knowing what was going on until you're on air and like have to just kind of like make it up on the fly so um, I really liked doing that I thought it was really fun. Um, my favorite part of King News was probably getting to form King Commentary with Julian. He just came to me one day and he asked me to be in his group for this King News segment and I was really interested. I really liked the people. I liked meeting new people and being able to work with our anchors and see all the different personalities that came in. I don't know, I feel like when you join the Kang News team, you really find a group of people who are really there to support you and they always, they're good friends. So that would be my favorite part, is the people I work with and how enthusiastic they are about everything they do. I'm going to miss our executive producers, whether it's uh, Kaylee, I don't know if she's technically an executive producer. Definitely going to miss Jake, our cameraman right now. He's right behind the camera. Um, Chance, Tucker, everyone in here. What I miss most about King News is hanging out with the crew, uh, hanging out with all my friends, and doing a bunch of hijinks. And is that how you use that word? Hijinks? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm improving on my illiteracy in front of the camera. Uh, I'm gonna miss sitting in those chairs and watching everybody in the studio uh, freak out during each and every broadcast when something goes like even the tiniest bit wrong and they will never tell us what goes wrong and they just let us keep going and sometimes we don't know if it's broadcasting. Uh, I think I'm gonna miss all like the bold personalities in this class. Um, it's kind of an interesting dynamic just to see everyone just so loud and like excited about everything and it's really cool to see everyone that's like so passionate about um, broadcasting and um, I think I'm really, I'm gonna miss that a lot. King News has been like really accepting, like everybody here has been actually like really cool to talk to and everybody like really knows what they're doing, which is really impressive just because of like all the ages, all the freshmen and sophomores know like so much more than I do <laughs> in this class, it's actually astounding, like the people that I work with. The people? Cromer, mostly, who was a lot of fun and great mentor. I'm gonna miss going live with this crew. I'm gonna be working on my school news in Gonzaga, but I'm gonna miss going live with this crew here at LW. Uh, my funniest memory was when I was talking about my friend Jake Steele's home run for like two straight weeks, and then he hit another one, so it was even worse. Like I compound interest effect. The funniest memory I have about Kang News is uh, when DJ Man was trying to sign um, an email address and he doesn't know sign language and I uh, couldn't hold in the laughter. When Jake Steele stood up and left the camera view but the audio stayed on and he talked about making his rebel scum comment and the whole school heard it again. <laughs> that was classic. Oh my gosh, just like half the stuff all the sports guys do, like or a couple weeks ago when Jake had to give his 
10 minute announcements in five minutes and was just yelling and had his whole body laying over the desk. It's just so funny to see all the stuff that we can fit into a broadcast. I mean, it's not super funny, but it was just kind of like one of my favorite memories was when we, when um, we first filmed the Never Gonna Give You Up music video for Arcane Commentary. It was originally for a project in this class for a music video, and then we asked Cromer if we could actually film it and like have it on K News, and we ended up doing that, and that's kind of what started like having skits for Kane Commentary because originally Kane Commentary was something so different. Um, I would definitely say that most of my favorite memories can be found in the quote list that Emily's been keeping throughout the year. Um, some of those would be, is the encoder plugged in? Everything's fun and games until Tuesday morning when nothing's edited. 7.30 meetings. These are handy cams. Problem solving while live. We're a clean mess. Oh, we're on. If someone falls, just keep going. Go fast with caution. Sign off, sign off. Eat more donuts. Keep your ear to the ground and your heart to the sky. And I was defending you, you idiot. Those quotes that Emily's put together are probably some of my favorite funny memories from King News. King of Palooza is June 8th, right after school. Blow up toys, carnival games, a photo booth with photo strips, food trucks, and more. Entrance is free, but bring money for food trucks. If you want to go on the inflatable games, you need to commit complete a permission slip form. Those forms will be available June 2nd and 3rd from your second period teacher. I heard the Riddler slide is 30 feet high. 30 feet? That's six of me. Five of me. I can do math. <laughs> that sounds so much fun. The obstacle cord is 65 feet long. Seniors, you and your families are cordially invited to the 2016 Senior Salute. Come celebrate your time at L-Dub and your graduation. The Senior Salute will be from 7 to 8, 7 to 8 p.m. in the gym, and the pictures will be from 8 to 9 p.m. in the Commons. Senior Salute provides an opportunity to be at L-Dub in cap and gown with your friends and family. More information is on lwhsptsa.org and in the June 1st Kang Crier. Please RSVP your name, your parent or guardian's name, and how many guests you will be bringing. Uh, you can do that at, I'm going to spell this out, LWHS2016 Senior Salute, didn't want to spell that, at gmail.com. If you're interested in speaking at the event, please contact Miss Roger this week by Wednesday afternoon. Currently, there are only about 20 tickets for the senior party after graduation. Great news because sales have gone up. What? <laughs> That's not good. The price has stayed at $165. And scholarships are still available. You can find forms online, and you must turn in all forms to Millie in the office by May 31st, which is today. I don't want to miss out on either of those events. No, you don't. You also don't want to skip Friday because there will be popsicles sold after school for $1. Well, that's all we have for today, Kings. But before we go, uh, we would like to say thank you for everything and for helping us have this such like a emotional. fun year. Yeah, this is <laughs> We've loved broadcasting with you Sorry all. Sorry for embarrassing you, Mackenzie. That's my sister. <laughs> have a great time, Kangs. Go Kangs. For those you don't know, uh, things that are black, uh, the shoe is black. Yep. Uh, part of Scout sweatshirt's black. The bill on this hat is black. Yeah, those are just various yes. things that are black that you could wear on this blackout yes. day. Uh, especially not shovels. Nope. Uh, shovels also out. Don't bring shovels. Or, or buckets. Yes, I know I was there at the game. Uh, I did have to leave early. I had an appointment in the Mountains of Odd. And you? Obviously, Shaq. You know, I'm actually starting to see the resemblance. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, DJ, that is now two weeks without a shovel at two a sporting weeks, event. No shovels at a sporting event. That's a great job, Kings. I think that's a King Cole record. I've never heard of anyone making it past I've been one checked. week. I haven't checked, but uh, you might be right. I'm pretty sure I am. What does it mean for you to be a Kang, Abby? For me, being a Kang means singing those sea shanties. <laughs> As always, Kangs, eat your butter. <laughs> uh, DJ, do you think we could practice some trivia questions right here? Oh, I'm pretty sure we could. Uh, give me a question. All right, this is for everyone in the crowd, not just you, Matt. Okay. Do you know what the most common nickname for a kangaroo is? I don't know. Oh, you don't? I don't. Jimmy would be my guess. <laughs> Hello, Kangs. Welcome to the DJ and Dose Report. I'm Matt Malloy, and I'm not as funny as Chris Roa. And I'm DJ Mann, and... We'll leave that up for debate. Happy uh, holidays. Happy holidays. And, and may the force, force be with you. Be with you. Neo. 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 Neo.
<laughs> yes. That's the and uh, that's going backwards, right? Yeah. One, okay. Yeah. So Just checking. Somewhat like that. So is I, it technically a negative 100, or how do we how do we work that ooh, system? Uh, 100. Well, you know, I think they but, go down and back across yeah. the pool. Oh, okay. So uh, his displacement would actually be zero. zero. Net, net displacement is zero. Uh, shout Thanks, Miss Ketke. Miss Ketke oh, yeah. did teach us that. Yes, all three of us. Yep. Uh, for the state competition on March 26th, in Yakima. Wow. Yakima. Yakima, it sounds like someone's kind of puking when they're saying that. Yakima. Yakima. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway, so, uh, uh... Yeah, toss that right over here. Oh, we got a broom. Uh, Good. Yeah, yeah that's oh, a we got a broom in the studio. Team. Hey, They're Lake Washington, Washington sweep of that's sports. There you go. This that has been sweep. another edition of Brew Sports. I'm Scout Collins. I'm DJ Mann. And I'm Chris Rowe. And as always, eat your butter. Welcome to this week's very stripy broadcast. Yeah, bringing out our inner zebra. Getting a little wild. We did not plan this. <laughs> not <but> at all. <laughs> We uh, have some wrestling guys down at the Auxiliary Gym. Uh, yeah. You guys, you guys ready to go oh, check yeah, that out? We should out? probably go. We should probably uh, go. Meet with, meet with them. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite move or anything? I have a couple. Uh, you want couple. to show me some of those? Absolutely. Okay. I start here? Start right there. You put one foot right here, one foot on the line. That's going to say, shake hands. It's going to say, wrestle. I'm Chance White here, the broadcast director at Kang News, and... Hey, hey Chance, what, what do you think about this? Alex, come on! Don't you see I'm busy making a video here? <laughs> Jeez, what's wrong with you? <laughs> top three at every single competition. Way to go, girls. Top three. Cinco? Top three. What? Did you say Cinco or Kinko? Kinko. Okay. I didn't say either of those words. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. There we Yeah, if I'm on it, then you, your job's easy, because the crowd's pleased, and you're having a good time. That's all I've got to say. Okay. Probably the, the, the dark side, because um, they're really cool, and I like Darth Maul, because he's got a dope lightsaber. Cut back on the Scooby-Doo fruit snacks. Been eating them every day. Need to cut that, cut that down. Musical. Uh, definitely Liam Neese, the musical. That, if you don't know, that's my name. Well, that's like the side name. Usually it's like Sporty, Up in Lights. That's what it's called. You know, it's it's a great one. It'll be out on DVD soon. It's just live right now, though. You can see it down in, at Kirkland at the at the Play Center. What's your favorite segment on Kang News? Definitely this one, because I get to see myself on the daily, usually. I, I have many fans because of this, so I made new friends. A lot of people give me respect daily, so uh, thumbs up to Kang News. Peace out, bro. All right. Well, this is there's a, there's a chance that um this might be my job next year. Some people want it. We'll see. On a scale of one to ten, what do you rate my character and physique? Eleven. Thank you. the first time we've beaten Mercer Allen, Chris. I think that deserves a high five. Hoo-wah! Thanks, everybody. Back to the desk. Oh, uh, uh.
Oh, God. Greetings, marsupials. How's it going? <laughs> My man Steve and I are here to sing a song. Teach you how to be real king strong. Always rising is what we say. Hey, king, let's make it a great day. Go see all dub live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. <laughs> What I always ask is, how many wizards does the other team have? Uh, they probably have zero. How many wizards do we have? You know, we got two. Uh -huh. All right. Oh. There. Good morning, Kangs. I'm Jake Steele. I'm Matt Malloy. Uh -huh. okay. okay. We got a lot of announcements, 10 minutes of announcements to get through in five minutes. So let's go. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 26 consecutive innings without an error. Oh, that's, I did hear about that. That's on one innings. Um, who committed the error? Was it? And then put the mics together so they go. Yeah. Until we start the stream! <laughs> 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 